quick video here. As you can see what I've built is what might look like a hand or a claw. Uh, the true idea here is that I'm going to make a set of jaws for a spider. Um, basically what I started out with here was this piece here I kind of copied from a little grabber kind of thing like this a little trigger that you pull on it pulls that in and out uh, and then originally I had both of these on opposite sides so they pinch together which uh, after further thought I realized that really spiders don't have jaws like that those are mandibles more like on an ant so I wanted a, a set of retracting fang type teeth uh, then I made these for the opposite side and kind of doubled up my action here uh, this is kind of just a prototype I'm gonna build this up I've had some failures in these right here already they started to crack so I'm um, also going to make it, make it a little larger scale, probably out of some thicker material. Uh, probably going to go with a thicker plywood or perhaps if I can get a hold of some, some real heavy plastic. And uh, the reason I'm doing this is this year uh, the big giant spider I had in my web uh, one of the trick-or-treaters said uh, it looked like a giant grasshopper. So, I wasn't too pleased with that. So I'm going to try and make it look more like a spider. Uh, you can see how this action works here. Uh, there's a kind of a Y-shaped set of arms here. Uh, now this could be controlled by a motor constantly moving back and forth like this or you could have a pneumatic pulling it straight back and forth like so so we'll see how this turns out you can see it's kind of falling apart I don't have the right hardware to put it together this way uh, I'm going to try and make these a little bigger a little heart larger scale I think I've got the basic design and shape down right. Um, these pieces of hardware here that you see I'm using are just some stuff I had laying around. Uh, this is just an initial design and I'll uh, keep updating with newer video as I pr proceed on this. And uh, hopefully we'll end up with a rather large spider with some good animation on it by the time Halloween gets here.